everybody, this is Dave with Speedway Motors. Uh, thanks for coming back. Wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about one of the things that we run into kind of regularly here, and that's selecting an appropriate intake manifold for your project. So as you can see, I've got a couple of manifolds here. One of the primary things that you're going to notice is there's a big difference between the two plenums. Now I'll get into that in a moment, but one of the big things is the stock manifolds, are, they're kind of notorious for having a lot of original casting lips. You'll have heavy lips here. It's going to be very uh, obstructive. It'll disturb the airflow, and that causes a little bit of loss in power and things like that. So upgrading to an aftermarket intake like one of these two will not only help your horsepower, but you'll also see a little bit of increase in torque because that's going to even out that airflow, make it a little easier for your throttle system to respond. So. First thing I'm going to hit is going to be this dual plenum intake here. Uh, dual plenum actually, it stands for basically what you're seeing. There's two plenums here. There's two entries. One feeds one side, one feeds the other. So those are going to be what you're going to find for your 1500 to 6500 RPM range. Uh, the runners are also going to be a little longer here. Uh, what that's going to do is that's going to allow that air to even out, steady itself in. You're going to have solid throttle response and a wide power band with those, so that's also going to be one of the big things that you're going to find as a benefit to the dual plane. So uh, that covers your dual planes. Your single plane, as you guessed it, is just a single giant opening. Your runners, which are actually uh, transfers the air from the plenum down to the heads themselves and the combustion chambers, are going to be shorter on these. They're going to deliver a lot more air. They're going to have a slightly different power band, usually from about 2,500 RPM to about 7,500 RPM. Um, one of the downsides to that is under 2,500 RPM, you're going to have a little bit of a rough idle. It's going to be a little bit of a choppy response to your throttle, but you're going to gain a little bit upper end power. So those are your primary differences between the two. Uh, this is actually an open valley as well, so it helps a little bit of cooling. Uh, that's something entirely separate though. So. Those are your basic differences between your two. Commonly held belief in the street industry is your dual plane is going to be better because it's going to have quicker response on the throttle and an open power band with a little bit smoother response. So for those of you running a higher RPM application, so you're going to do a, a, a street car that you're going to take to the strip kind of regular or something like that, you might look into a single plane on intake, a uh, single plane. What that's going to do is that's going to give you that shorter runner, faster response, heavier power band, you know, taller power band as well. Um, so that's basically what you're looking at when it comes to intakes. Speedway Motors, we offer roughly 130 different styles of intakes from everything from Edelbrock, Offenhauser, Pro Products, and Y-End to, to BMI and World Products. So to check out any of those and find something for your application, go ahead and visit us on the web at speedwaymotors.com or give us a call. Thanks for your time.